Okay. Now the phone will power up. You let it do its thing there. And at this point, uh, you're going to have uh, Froyo on your telephone. The Froyo will, uh, this is a considered still a beta, I believe. It's not the uh, it's not the official sprint release, I don't believe, but it is a leak release. Um, I ran into an error that I wrote about. Um, I haven't really had the error since then. Um, you can read in the forums about the error. Uh, but it loaded up fine. Um, our next step, after you get Froyo, you can go ahead and explore it, what have you. Um, you will have to have backed up all your files and folders and all that stuff. Uh, any information that you want, you're going to have to reload it into the system again because, like I said, we're starting from stock with no information. Uh, it's easiest to reload the op or, excuse me to uh, load all of the uh, files from Android Market instead of uh, doing the backup. Uh, as Froyo um, seems to have some issues, this version of Froyo seems to have some issues with some of the backed up files. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, root your telephone. Um, we'll go back up here. All right. We'll go back to the uh, file, excuse me, the uh, XDA developers website uh, where we got the drivers from, which are down here. We're going to go ahead and uh, click on the uh, root. Again, here's the link for you all. Uh, it'll be in the show notes. Uh, we'll go ahead and click on this. It'll bring it up. You'll hit uh, save file again to your desktop. I don't need it, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, we'll have to have your uh, phone plugged in again. You will then go to the file folder. Uh, let's see here. One click root. You'll double click on it, it'll pull up as such. You come down here to your Windows batch file. You're going to run that. It'll ask you to extract all or run. And when, with Windows, you can just hit run. Hit run again. It'll bring it up. Press any key to continue. Assuming that you have your phone connected and everything is good to go, when you press the any key, it will start its process. When it is finished, you can go ahead and disconnect. It will have root at that point, assuming you follow the steps explicitly and uh, you're starting with a fresh phone. Okay, once you are rooted, you can test it by downloading the Titanium Backup app. It will tell you immediately if you're rooted or not because it will not allow you to uh, use the program if you're not rooted. Uh, you can go ahead and then download Wireless Tether. Let me show you some of these apps. There's the wireless tether that I use right there. Uh, you can go ahead and use that. Uh, press it. It most likely will not work. You can hit start tethering. It will go to that process. But then once it starts tethering, if you look down at the bottom, it has a set of numbers. My numbers are running, which means it's tethering. It's bouncing the 3G network through the telephone into the air so you can use your computer, um, your iPad, whatever you have to get the 3G network through it. Um, with just the root, it'll give you access to this program, but with this version of Froyo and this root, the wireless teller typically does not work in all cases. Some people didn't run into this, I did. So we're going to go ahead and patch that now. I'm going to stop that process. All right. Patch the wireless tether. We'll go back up here. Uh, you'll follow this link. This is the uh, Android Central. Okay. Once you're inside the website, you can go ahead and uh, click on the link here. It will uh, bring up this page that I preloaded. 
wireless tether. You can go ahead and use the APK if you know how to do that and go ahead and put it in the system. It's really easy. But I'm going to make it even easier for some people. That is a uh, barcode right there. And you need Google Goggles, the official Google program, which I'll show you. Right, Google Goggles. Press it. Takes a second to load. It is a uh, it is a barcode scanner program. You can use it to uh, get better deals on items. You can scan whatever item you want before purchase. And then, let's see if I can do this one hand, and this will be tough. But you want to zoom in to the item as much as possible. You take a picture of it. It's excuses. Uh, Again, a little difficult doing this one-handed. It's now running the uh, program. See how well it scans it. And it's taking a little long. Basically what it'll do is it'll drop a bar on the bottom here once it recognizes it. And it will say uh, what the item is, which will be this wireless tether you'll click on that bar and then it will load the program. You're going to need two programs. I apologize, I missed a step here. Um, you're going to need uh, a couple of programs ahead of time. Uh, you will need, here, let's see if I can pull them up for you here. You're going to need uh, Google Goggles, the T-Attach APK installer, some people didn't need this. I used it just because it was recommended. And then you'll need uh, the uh, Dolphin Internet Browser worked for me. You can probably use the regular standard Internet Browser, but that's what I used. Uh, you'll hit the barcode. It will ask you how to download it. You'll select Dolphin. After you select the Dolphin Browser, it'll load for a second. Then it'll ask you how you want to operate this program. It'll give you the chance to use the T-Attach program. Go ahead and click that. It will do its thing, and next thing you know, you will have a patch to wireless tether. Then you go ahead and go through the process like I showed you. Select wireless tether. Um, if Again, if you didn't have that program already in your phone, you can download it from the market once you're rooted. Um, you select wireless tether, start emitting a signal, check with your other devices. If the numbers are ticking down that you're, you have an upload and download speed, um, you're good to go. Additionally, um, my GPS did not work uh, with Froyo. I had a functioning GPS prior to that. I was not one of those problematic phones. I then ran GPS test and I ran uh, GPS status outside, gave it about 15 minutes to work, and I had a good location and it's worked ever since then without any problems. My GPS happens to be very accurate. I was one of the lucky few, I guess. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want to follow me, you can follow me on Twitter at Crazy Dave. I'm on Flickr at Crazy Dave, and I'm on YouTube at Crazy Dave. I plan to do more videos. Uh, appreciate if you follow me, and then uh, go ahead and use all those forums and thank those people for all their hard work to make this a possibility. And have fun with your new Froyo. All right, uh, there's one more image of it right there. Um, you'll see quite a difference. It's a uh, pretty fun little ROM.